Hello everyone, welcome to day 17, a very special day here on our 7 Days to Die Desert Survival Series. <laughs> so, you guys watched the last couple episodes, you saw my world was pretty glitched with the bears and I just started getting... Well, one, I, I didn't realize that I used the same seed for that as I did the stream and I, I basically knew that whole map. So, here's what I did. Took my character, copied my character, built a new world, brought that character in here at the same level that he's at, which is uh, all the whatever points I had on that particular character, as well as the level I was, which is 47. And I haven't leveled at all since, so this is what we've got. I brought over what I could with my stuff. Some of it got glitched when you bring it over, like... My shirt turned into a cigar and <laughs> just all kinds of weird stuff. So I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, I did get an airdrop and I got some food, had some food with me. I got um, my guns and bullets. And so I packed my inventory with the stuff that was good and brought it with me. And some of it came, some of it got glitched. Either way, I've got the same pistol, the same shotgun, the same AK, which is terrible, MP5, my ammo, should be good to go, but obviously I'm low on standard supplies. So this map, this map took me an hour and 43 minutes to build, okay? So it was a custom build. It's the large world. So if you look, here's the center. I marked the center, okay? So this is the center here. You can see basically zero, zero right up here. Now, if you scroll one way, all the way to the edge of the map, you'll see 9,000, over 9,000, right? That way. We go back to the center. Go this way. 9,000. So this is the large map, the large size map. And I'm in the middle here, and you can see the layout. The cool thing about this is it's got these long roads. I kind of... I had time because I had to get back to day 17. So I traveled, just traveled. I didn't go in anywhere. I just traveled some of these road crossroads to see what possibly was out here. So there's a factory type section here in the desert. There's a snow, big snow town here. This area that I'm in, you'll see when we go outside, There's it's really cool looking, right? I built a temporary little place. Right here is mountains. And there's like a, looks like there's a snowy town here. There's a, it's not a town of houses, but random POIs here. Then there's houses out here. There's some factory looking buildings over here. Uh, there, there's a derelict area over here. Uh, there's some stuff down here. This is where I spawned in at here. And I had to run, run. I was just running. Got on this road, came up here. And that's where we're at. So it looks like, you'll see when we get outside, this area is very unique. So it looked like it spawned a good amount of towns. Um, here's my little my little place. So I got my the same stuff I had before. I have my chemistry bench. I have my my chemistry bench. Oh, okay, so I made, I made my first aid kits, chemistry bench. I've got some iron and clay in here. I got my workbench. My regular stuff here, weapons here, food and ammo, miscellaneous, and I got my fire pit. So, look at this place. Here is those little, the mountains I was talking about. So, we got mountains. I was thinking about building up on the mountain, but I, I just came into this world, so I don't know, like, where the coolest place is, right? I don't know where the coolest place is, but... <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't even realize, you guys, I built right next to the adult theater. What the deuce? So if you look around, you can see it's very unique topography, which is what I like. It's not just flat. It's got flats. It's got these little nub, nub jewels here. It's got these mountains. So just on the other side of these, these hills here, there's stuff over there. Um, oh, hello. And there's zombies. So what I'm hoping is the whole bear glitch is gone. And besides that, we've got a whole new world to explore. So I got my mini bike here. All right, we just hit level 48. So I think, 
We need to be level 50 and intellect level 7. To get level 7, I need 3 points. I got 2 points. So I need to save my points um, to buy level 7 and 1 point to get the next motorcycle. Because it's, I'm pretty sure it's a little faster than this one. And, we, you know, with these, you could see these, uh, these long roads going out these different directions. So we got this way we could travel out and check out all, look at, there's a lot of space out there. So we don't know what's out there. We don't know what's east or west of us. But we have this, just off of center, just north of center is this awesome crossroad that looks like, you know, it, heads out in all directions so that's pretty cool i'm i'm actually really excited about this world i generate like i said it took um it took an hour and 40 something minutes to generate the world came up with the seed the size all that stuff then when i came in it was day one i landed in then you exit you import your character now it's still day one so i set the server tick rate really high it took a little over three hours to get it to day 17. I just, I just sat, I just sat. Well, actually I built this and then I just sat hidden and had a sandwich and did some other things, uh, did some stuff the original night and then did some stuff just now. I actually went from day, mm, about day eight up to 17. I just been sitting here. So I'm really excited about playing. Um, there's some neat stuff around here. So Look, what we've got, we've got our bullets. I've got plenty of bullets in reserve at the at the little shack here. I've got my first aid, food, water, some honey. I got a wrench with me, a melee tool, uh, my regular tools, pistol and shotgun, and everything here is new. Everything here is new. So uh, let's see if I can get up on these hills. I want to show you what's on the other side here. If I can run. I thought that might be water right there. If I can run up this thing or not. Neener, neener. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't think I can run up this. I'm going to fall and break my leg, aren't I? Okay. Oh, that's a wolf. Yeah, wolfy. So hopefully we don't have the bear... F wow, dude. I don't want to get trapped down in there. Hopefully we don't have the bear fiasco. Let's see if I can get up higher show you guys what's going on here i wanted to build there was a i think it was over that way there was a hill like this like these hills that that was about maybe that high and it kind of kind of was in the desert right it was on the ed de edge of the desert which is i guess it was right in this area here somewhere over here i was thinking about building on that so it, you would kind of like look out like this and see the town or you know it's not even really a town. It's like really spread out. Um, but it was high up. I, I would have had to build like some kind of stairs going up. Uh, it did have this cutout in the side. We'll go over and take a look at it. Did have like a cutout in the side. Um, let's see. Oh, we got something over here. I had like a cutout. But I figured they would dig underneath it. The whole thing would fall. And again, I just came into the world, so I didn't know if that was going to even be a, a good place. But this is this is really neat. Like these hills, they're not just giant mountains, but they're that's where right there. Actually, see that see that over there. See, I, it wasn't at the top of the mountain. It was right there. That patch that you can see, it was going to be right there. So it looked this way, like toward me. It's a pretty good view. It's a pretty good view, but. Again, I don't know. I didn't know if this was even a an awesome place to build. All right, let's. Uh, I guess we could start here. Little military industrial complex action. You can see there's like a lot of. Uh, this reminds me of like North Carolina. So, yeah, the Carolinas, Georgia. You'll be driving along a road through the forest. All of a sudden, boom! There's a factory. It's it's pretty cool. Unlike the areas that I live, you know, that I used to live in California, where it was just nothing but city, you know. These things. All right, here comes the fuzz. Here comes the fuzz. I left my AK back there. I don't know if that was going to be a mistake, but shotgun and pistol right now. And really, we're going to be working in fair, fairly close proximity of the of my little shack so I can go back, get more ammo, 
Um, switch weapons if I need to. I didn't want to bring the bike yet, but we will be having the bike with us. Piggy. All right. Oh, you know what I didn't bring? Um, repair kits. Oh, somebody just blew up over there. I didn't bring repair kits. Actually, oh, that's bad. I don't think I have any repair kits. All right, we're gonna have to find repair kits. They obviously, they, I don't think they made the, uh, I don't think they made the transition over from one world to the other. So I hope I explained that clearly enough, like why we're in a new world. Uh, we got the same character, same, same everything, but we're in a new world. And hopefully we, <laughs> we don't go into a place and it's all bears. Oh, hello, fire dude. I am a fire zombie. We gotta find the goods. So if you guys are looking for repair kits, um, working stiff, working stiff crates. Okay, nurse, and another nurse, and another fire guy. Ho! So we get these guys to run through these mines. No, any mines? Anybody cut through? Right there? Mine? Yep. Mine? Yep. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh, shoot. I missed it. You know, I remember when um, there was a time in a different alpha where you could run them through the minefields and it, they just kept running. It, like, it didn't even affect them, so... That's good that it's one-shotting them because, I mean, look, if the mines can kill you, it should be able to kill the zombies, right? Should be able to kill the zombies. All right, well, definitely need this stuff. We always need fuel. If you're going to leave barrels of fuel sitting around, it's like a fuel depot, right? Uh, one thing I did not find uh, was a trader. A, because I haven't looked around that much. Uh, I haven't found a trader, so yeah, we've got. We definitely need to keep an eye out for the trader guy. Did you guys make a hole here for me somewhere? All right. Medical. I I really like this that they put in the little instead of everything just being a backpack or a crate. You know this and uh, what do you call it? Not animation. This um, <laughs> it turns into a backpack. All right, so because we are making our own supplies, we want to make sure we get all of this type of stuff. I don't need a blood draw. You know, before I said I should have taken that blood draw kit. Do they stack? I don't think they do. Where'd that other blood draw kit go? Back here? They don't stack. I'm going to take two just in case. I haven't used a blood draw kit in so long. Physician, use. Take some paper with us. You, I'm gonna have to be like collecting some of the some of the random type loots because I really don't have anything. I'll use and top off my water. All right, all right. I hear you out there. No, ho, ho. now there. That's a good find. It's very rare to find um, to find the med kits now. They've done a good job in keeping the med kits out of the game. Medical supplies. Yep, yep. This is all stuff we use to make our own med kits. Uh, was that duct tape, um, alcohol, bandage, blood bag, that kind of stuff. Sham. It's what's for dinner. I think I'm carrying, yeah, I'm carrying sh sham as my, as my thing. All right. Now, this, so this was a good medical. This is the same one that on the yaw one, Guns blew up because he got all excited. He saw that medical thing there. What's that down there? Something down there. Wait. Got him. Hmm. Old cash. Pre-war money. <gasps> oh, what's this? <laughs> Weapons bag? 
All right, we got the, we'll keep that. Cause we're gonna make a shovel pretty soon. Keep that, scrap this. Not doing any bow work right now. They're just too fast. I've got them on uh, one difficulty lower than the ridiculousness one. So it's almost at the highest difficulty and they're on sprint. They're on sprint, so I don't really have time to bow anyone. Oh, hello. So remember, the medical one apparently has this little fella hiding on the outside. This is my first video um, recording in 2019. And it's it's the fifth. But yeah, so that's a thing. That's something to be proud of. My first one. I'm just drinking some water because it reminded me my mouth was all dry. I'm not used to talking. You know, it took, took some time around... Uh, Obviously Christmas and took time around. All right, that's wasting ammo. Took time off around Christmas for um, you always win, and I did a bunch of stuff on Meat Wagon, and then I took time off uh, from Meat Wagon on New Year's, you know, around New Year's. So that's why we are where we are. I had played so much, I had enough. Uh, I had enough videos, you know, for daily uploads, and. Let's see. I don't know the easiest way to get back across. So down this way is pretty much, um, you know, roads with, I think these are water, de those water departments. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six of those water departments, which is good. They're, they're like mini factories, so it's not a bad thing. And they're actually, they're, they're pretty fun. They're not that big. They're not that big, so you can get in there, get your reward. I think there's a, a good bypass to get through if you want, um, if you know where to go. Maybe we'll figure that out after our first one. We'll be able to bypass everything. I wanted to show you because right on the other side of this mountain is where my my little cabin is. And duct tape, please. Definitely need to find a trader because I want to do some of the uh, the quests too. There are some actual perks to where you can do, if you take those perks or the skills, it will allow you to take two quests at the same time. So instead of getting like one and then going back and then one and going, you can get two. So right, right through there is my place. You can see on the other side, we've got some buildings over here. Now there was, uh, I did drive by a couple POIs that look like I had, is that a, oh, that's a shotgun messiah. Oh, this is one of, this is one of our triple buildings that we like to take on. And it's right here, so that's good. Make a note of that. Make a note of that. I thought I saw a, a POI that I hadn't seen before. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot that I haven't seen, but this was a... Um, oh, we need that. 22. So we need to start collecting uh, oil in case I... Uh, repair kits. It should be oil, duct tape. Um, yeah, so duct tape, cloth, oil, and mechanical parts. Yeah, we should be fine with that. We should be fine with that. I don't have to rely on um, finding stuff. So there's something big over there. Start collecting stuff. You know, I want to collect some nails, too, because I thought... I'm trying to remember. There was something I wanted to make, and it re needed nails. And I'm like, nails? Did we ever figure out if we could actually collect tires still, or do you have to make them? Because I don't think that I've collected tires that way. I found tires, but I, ha I don't think I've collected tires the old-fashioned way in this Alpha 17 yet. Doesn't mean that it's not available. Anyway, that's the hill right up there. Like, I was thinking about building up there. Pretty sure that's the one. Yeah, it was right on the edge of the desert. And right here is a desert, desert, deserty town. Is there someone crawling over here? So there's a lot in this little area alone. This area, like, here's my place, right? In this area alone, there's a lot. Then out here, it looked like a little derelict area. And then here. And then up here is a cool factory type place. Now, it's not all... We need, to, we need to kill every zombie that we see, though, because of points. So yeah, that was the hill there. The reason, I, this that first world was all desert. That's why I called it the, the Desert Series. So I don't really want to change the name, but that's why I was going to build like on the edge of a, of a desert looking place. 
Sit down, lady. Now, I haven't ranked up my... I think I'm only at maybe level 2 on my pistol. Oh, shoot. That's a... That could be a whole mini horde. Drop something for me, lady. You know, I have, a, I have enough 9mm that I could switch to my um, MP5. And instead of just... The problem with MP5 is I go bonkers with it, right? I know you could just semi-auto it yourself, controlling the trigger. But usually I just dump dump ammo out of it and you go through the ammo so much faster. You would think that's like, well, why? If you've got a good MP5, why use the pit? Oh, look at that. Aldo's cabinets. We haven't been in one of those. Okay, we should go back and get our bike. Because we're going to need the um, oil. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably start collecting some more scrap, too. Scrap. 22 nails. You know what I'm saying? So if you control... This looks like a fire station there. Got a lot of cool places around here. And what I really, really, really like about this... I got to start collecting some brass, too. Scrap. Um, what I really like about this is these hills. It makes it so unique. You can't just look like the direction I'm looking and see everything. Right? You have to say, well, wonder what's on the other side of that little mountain or this little mountain, you know? But there was, uh, I was saying earlier, over there somewhere, right over there or possibly over there, was a POI that I hadn't seen before. And it looked like a factory from a distance, right? Then when I got up close, it looked more like an apartment building, right? But it, I don't know exactly what it is. What is that? Oh, another Alos cabinets, okay. Okay, and motel, like a fast food joint over there. Here's the adult bookstore, and we're right on the other side of this. So we just made a little loop around. But it, it looks like an, a, not like the regular apartment building. It looks like a blend between an apartment building and one of those uh, taller, like, not the Dishong Tower, but the other one. But it's got, like, the side broken out like the Dishong Tower does. So that's, oh, is that one of those? That's one of those toy places. We definitely know there's stuff on the roof of that. Got a pawn shop here. Little car lot. So we got some good stuff around here. I think maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll bring the MP5. Um, maybe I'll bring the MP5 when we know we're going in some of these buildings. Because it, you know how crazy it gets. Lead. Lead. Alright, we're getting kind of chock-a-block now. We got to get back... Oh, pop. pop doing in there. Wow, this uh, busy little uh, parking lot, huh? See, the shotgun does such a good job of stunning them. Like, that if they're chasing you, you'll have time to reload. If you can stun the ones that are closest to you, it's going to close the gap. You guys okay in there? Huh? What's wrong with your arm, little fella? Hmm? What's wrong with your arm? Pretty excited about this new world, you guys. But I am going to have to collect, like the stuff I'm collecting now, I am going to have to collect this stuff because a lot of it didn't transfer over. So, cloth, this. I got a lot of duct tape already. I got, I got a lot of mechanical parts. Obviously, I got a lot of oil. I need more cloth. I don't know if this gives me cloth or leather. Three cloth, okay. That gives me the polymers. Oh. Okay. Buzz's bar might be full of some weirdos. You never, you never know. Oh yeah, there he is. I just stunned him right before he's ready to give me the old right hook. When I have time to ADS, I will. There are some perks or some mods that you can put like a, f a grip that is only better if you ADS. And uh, I think grip and bipod mods are only better if you actually ADS. Now, there are some things I think in here. Uh, 
increases fire rate for handguns. I thought there was something maybe that helps. So dead eye, you have to be aiming too. You can see why is this? Why is this in the red? Maybe my perception is in high. Why is that in the red? This is it. Running gun is your hip fire accuracy. So running gun is hip fire and reloading, and then some of those other things like dead eye and some of the mods will actually be for. Um, ADSing, like if you're aiming down sights. I'm getting some cloth so I can make some repair kits for my weapons. Sorry about your stinky couch, but I need it. All right, good, good, and double good. The guy behind the counter. No, these things are usually just has water and beer in them. The water's good, beer not so much. They put the uh, they put the effect on that you get all. <laughs> That's an industry sound. I'm just saying. Oh, that that'll make some good uh, scrap. Let's scrap that. You, I should definitely need acid if I'm going to have to make wheels. A lot of water in here. I don't need to grab all the water right now. Doing pretty good on, like, I think that they, they always adjust the, wa the water stuff and the food because you don't want it to be too overpowered, like, to where it's just a, a game of, of finding food and water, you know, that you, you want the effect there, just like the, uh, the hot and cold effect. You want it there, but you don't want it to dominate. You don't want it to dominate the um, the game. You don't want it to dominate the game. No one thing. I mean, what you really want to dominate here is zombies. Like, you want zombies to attack. That's what you want to dominate. <laughs> All right, let's go dump this stuff in my place. All right, so in here is my first aid stuff. So we got that. We got two extra kits. We've got the blood draw kits. We've got the bandages. We've got pills here. I might need to move these up one. Now I put them down here at the bottom so you can't you can't shift click it, but because up here I'm gonna be you know shift clicking in other stuff like that, paper. Um, Okay, grain alcohol. Was that all of it? All right, so over here, duct tape. Man, man. And put the mods in here. Ammo. And here's going to go all my building type stuff. All right, so we need this. We need duct tape. We needed oil. And we needed mechanical parts. And... Can make 16 repair kits. Perfect. Put that stuff back. Put the wood away. All right. So let's take this pistol. We're gonna take our SMG, and we'll top off our ammo, and top off our ammo. That SMG should be good enough. Hmm. It should be good enough. Um. I got my wrench. I don't do I need my wrench with me right now? I'm gonna put my wrench away. Thinking about taking some of these steel ammo just in case. I'm gonna take this steel ammo. And we'll go shotgun on that. I think that's I'm making the repair kits. Still got this stuff to get rid of, okay. All right, so we're at 30 minutes, it's 1821. You know, on the days that are um, like the seven day intervals, I definitely do the longer episodes for you guys where we are doing day and night. You know, I didn't think about it when I first started this series about running, you know, naming these episodes based off the days. Um, 
because you're you're really just seeing the day. But because they're sprinting and everything, it's pretty good. The other thing is at night, you it's harder for you guys to see uh, what's going on. But when it is like like day twenty one, you know, we're gonna do the day and the night at least most of the way through, and it, it's a fun longer episodes. They're you know high thirty minute episodes, so that's pretty cool. Right, I'm just waiting for my stuff to make up here. Um, okay, so in the next episode, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to check out that cabinet place. That's a new place. Um, we'll hit some of these other places. And what I'd like to do is work my way over to that new new POI that I haven't tried yet, which looks like a, um, like I said, it looks like a, an, a hybrid apartment building. All right, so brass and lead. We'll start melting some of this stuff down. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Brass and lead. Get some of that going so we can make some bullets. So we got a little bit of acid. I think it's one acid per wheel. Uh, so that's four wheels right there alone. We're going to need headlights and stuff like that. So if I see a, a garage, I'd love to see one of those O'Reilly's auto parts or whatever. That would be good. We'll keep our repair kits with us. I could split them and put half on my bike. I don't know why, because I mean, it, it takes up one spot anyway. So we've got fuel, a puffer coat, and our that's all on there. We're good to go. I think that I'm gonna chill out here. Oh yeah, the pink machine is ready to go. I'll just have to use this thing like in semi-automatic mode until they really rush me then i can just lay into them but it's gonna it's gonna chew through the ammo pretty good all right you guys we're gonna come back next episode on day 18 and we're actually gonna start going into some of these newer pois and then we, we you know depending on what's around um we got a lot of water plants to go into i think that i think that we're gonna head though out here and down this way because I really want to I really want to try out that new building but I'm thinking that maybe I should I don't know maybe I put my melee melee weapon away and grab my AK it just does so much good damage even though it's a it's not that good of an AK so you guys enjoying the series still you guys excited for 2019 if you're excited for this new map give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next episode thanks for watching